What's going on guys? Did you miss me? Because I definitely miss all of you guys with your smiling faces and I'm so happy that I can come back here this week and just make some more videos. So today's video is about drawing faces, capturing the likeness and essence of a person, uh, exaggerating some of his features, you know, making someone's jaw really big if he has a big jaw, making someone's nose really big. And for someone like me that has really sleepy eyes, that could be exaggerating my sleepy eyes. Maybe I'll start looking like this or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, someone that's really good at that is C Deng Art. That's his Instagram handle. He has really fantastic work on his Instagram. I've been following him for a while now. And if you just take a look at his work, you can see that he really understands uh, how to exaggerate the features of a person. He knows how to also capture the likeness of a person so we're just going to listen to him take us through his steps and see what we can learn and see how we can improve our own art and also capture the essence of a person just like he does but yeah what are the first features you usually look at when it comes to uh drawing a caricature of a person mm -hmm. what are the first features you take into consideration when you want to draw a yeah, person yeah th th this is a very good question yeah, because, uh, uh, because I for some I, artists, I'm, for some artists, I, I see that they usually start with maybe the ears, they exaggerate the ears, they exaggerate the nose, they exaggerate the jawline and then the shape yeah, of the yeah. head. Yeah. So uh, of all the features, uh, of all the facial elements, uh, I would say uh, most of them are important. Um, the most important ones are of course the eyes mm -hmm. the shape of the eyes eyes nose eyes nose and mouth right yeah. the ears are not important no okay I, I think you can switch off the ears of different persons and you don't even notice it except when somebody has a very extremely large ear <laughs> yeah true <laughs> but otherwise it's people don't notice that a lot yeah and jawline is of, of course very important but still I think the most important thing is above all that it's the basic overall proportion. shape yeah the proportion and the overall shape of the face mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense so if I uh, if I'm going if I were to uh, give a, a keyword for the secret of exaggeration it, it would be hierarchy that means oh, okay. there are there are different levels of importance. Okay. Okay. The most important level is the ground level. It's the overall shape. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you have to fit all the other elements onto onto the overall okay. shape. Yeah. Onto the ground element. Or how should I say the base? The, the base. base. Yeah. Of, the base. Of face. If you get that right, you'll get. And you can say you get most most uh, most right already, or well, I, I would put put it that way. If you don't get the overall shape, and if you don't get the overall proportion right, yeah, then no matter what you do afterwards, it won't look uh, similar. So yeah, I mean, if you would want to demonstrate that to us, that would be awesome. If you can. Who should I draw? Maybe I show. <laughs> I know. Who should I draw? Hmm. Anybody want to suggest? Let's see. I... Let's see. Someone general. Maybe a. Maybe an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone really popular. So anyone that sees that person will know it's that person. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, name, 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 name somebody. Yeah. Let's let's see. Uh, who but should it, we... You know what? Maybe. Because uh, I see you in in the life uh, situation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I'm, I'm I'm not popular. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not me, not me. Yeah. Let's see. let's do a popular YouTuber. No, let's do a very popular YouTuber. Let's do <laughs> okay. uh, let's do should I say Mr. Beast or PewDiePie? Mr. Beast. No, Mr. Beast. It's, you know. Uh, in general, it's difficult to draw from a photo in comparison mm -hmm. to draw live. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, be because, um, of course, a photo doesn't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It moves, yeah. So that adds to the difficulty. But a photo is only from one view angle. Oh, yeah, from one It makes it difficult angle. to understand 
the real 3D structure of the face, which is mm. very important for uh, doing the exaggeration. You need to oh. know the real structure. And also, on a photo, the lighting uh, distracts a lot. Sometimes yeah. you don't have the perfect way of lighting. Lighting, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Mm -hmm. Is is that a typical smile? Yeah, that's his typical smile. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I, I I think I can use this as reference as my main reference. This smile, right? Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, either that one or the the other mm -hmm. one with the red background. Yeah, then let me take this one. Yeah. Let me try first. Okay. Now I will switch my window uh, to my uh, other screen because. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I use two windows, uh, two, two screens. Two screens, okay, okay. Well, when you do caricature, what do you exaggerate? You compare a face to what? This is the face that you compare to. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, an average face. You, you compare a real face, you compare uh, in a hierarchical way, you compare the overall proportion, you compare the shapes of the individual elements like eyes and noses, etc., to this average face. And then you try to spot the difference. And then you try to uh, increase the, the difference. That's called uh, exaggeration. Mm -hmm. So whenever, uh, when, when you're lost, you, you don't feel, uh, you don't know what to exaggerate. You can look at this uh, average face. Just Google average face or mm -hmm. maybe average European face mm -hmm. if you are drawing uh, a European person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first step, the important thing is do not see the details. Do not draw any details. Yeah. Get the overall shape and proportion right first. Yeah. So do you squint when you're doing this? You know, yes. for yeah, some painters, it's, it's good to paint, uh, squint when you're doing yes, that like yes. painting and all that. It's easier for you to see the shapes. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Squinting is very important for all kinds of uh, drawing activity. Yeah. Right? You see the values much better. You also see the proportions much better. By the way, I forgot to do the axis. This is. Yeah. This is actually crucial. If you don't blend up the elements well, it will look very wrong. The base form underneath, like mm -hmm. now that yeah. you're using the axis, just to figure out the structure of where you're going to place all the elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, very important, very important. Yeah. I think I'll place the eyes here. And then I'm, I'm now wondering where should I place the base of the nose? and the mouth. Maybe the no nose here is fine, but uh, I'm not sure about the mouth. I think I'll just put in the middle. <laughs> Sometimes you do need uh, some iterations. Mm. You, you make a trial. If it doesn't look right, mm. you do another one. Yeah, I think this is all right. As I said, you, you don't need to get everything right. So all right, yeah. I'll put it there. <laughs> and the mouth. And I noticed now that his uh, bottom lip is quite thick. Yeah, it's way thicker yeah. than the uh, His, top lip. Uh, upper lip is very thin, but the bottom one is very thick. Yeah, and, and he has he's, an uh, overbite. It's really thick. I, I don't know how to call this. So this would be the lip, and this one would be the part below the lip. Mm. And this one would be the chin. He has actually a square, quite square shaped chain. Yeah, so this will be the basic proportion. Let, let me see if it makes sense. I will add some bird features to it. What, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I can already I can already see the Mr. Yeah. Beast, especially from the way you drew the eyes. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you do a good job at this step, yeah. it's actually already done. It should be done already. Yeah. That means people should re recognize, recognize the person. Yeah. If not, then you'll have lots of trouble later on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think. You know, when, when I do life drawings, mm-hmm. uh, I need to make very quick decisions. decisions yeah. Like in 10 seconds, I have to lay down the basic sketch. And I think it's much easier if I see the person in life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's stay with this and see what happens. Um, now, now I haven't done any individual shapes yet, okay? but now I'm beginning to do that. For example, the teeth yeah. and the, of the mouth, not to exaggerate, exaggerating the nose that much. I'm basically just copying the shape. Mm-hmm. I think the nose is fine. Then I'll go on. Yeah, people always ask me, what do I do first? Uh, I think it depends. Hmm. Or actually, there is no real order of, of, of my uh, thing process. Here, I just drew from uh, yeah, from top to the bottom. This is the team. Often it's very helpful to zoom out. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Then the eyes. Yeah. I think uh, among all the features, his eyes are are the easiest one to. Yeah, to get uh, right. Yeah, to capture. I can already see. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, it was a little bit difficult for me to talk and draw at the same time. So yeah, actually, it's usually difficult talking and drawing at the same time. I actually, I, I've made much more decisions than I have uh, said, I have expressed. The, well, when I've done so many caricatures, I, I really make lots of decisions very quickly here and there. I, I can't express them more. Hmm. Okay, the ears. His ears are unimpressive, so <laughs> don't have to do anything. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Uh, do, you, do you have any book recommendations where they can uh, learn Learn caricature? Yeah, not just caricature, learn to draw like the face, like the human anatomy, and then maybe caricature too as well. Do you have any mm-hmm. program combination mm-hmm. for us? Uh, uh, I think you all can check out uh, Tom Richmond's uh, tutorial on caricature, his book. Mm-hmm, okay. The Mad Art of Caricature. Oh. I don't have the screen share. I'll turn on the screen share again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. turn it on. Uh, yeah, to the oh, caricature. Okay. I, okay. I, I would recommend this book, The Mad Art of Caricature. It's from the mad artist, Tom Richmond. I think this is, yeah. This is a quite a. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is a book. Uh, which people always recommend to who wants to start to learn caricature. Yeah. The style looks it, like Loopy Dave. Yeah, he uh, he worked for the Mac Magazine for mm. many years and he, I think he explained quite systematically how to do caricature in his book. Mm. So remember, with all these tips that he has shared with us, we really have to uh, practice a lot, put in a lot of hours in drawing, and that's when you really see the improvement with your work. I can actually talk, for example, when I was able to improve my 
uh, understanding of how to draw faces, I went back and did a lot of portraits of people. I just did a couple of portraits a day and eventually I was able to understand how to nail the likeness of a person. Nowadays, I don't really do that with my work because I don't have to draw any celebrity or draw any particular people. But I feel like if you use these tips that he has talked about here, you'll be able to uh, nail the likeness in your characters if you're drawing from a reference or if you're drawing uh, an actual person. So make sure you put these tips into works and also follow the links down below if you want to get some of the books that he has recommended and if you want to get any other art book or any other tool that could improve your digital art. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, share it with a friend so everyone can improve their art and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're new here. For those of you who are new here, I actually have a Patreon where I share a lot of my work, a lot of my PSDs and most of the art that I've been working on right now that I've not been sharing on my YouTube channel. There's a link down below, you can check out my Patreon page and support me.